Michelle. This is Eric K. Thomas here with the Quintessential Gentleman, QGTV, and we are here again at the 22nd American Black Film Festival, and we are sitting here with Dennis Williams, SVP, HBO. Yeah. Hey, how are you? Good to see you. Good, good. Glad to be here. So, we know that HBO has partnered um, before with ABFF, but why is it important for this partnership? Uh, this is our uh, 21st year uh, with the festival, and so most people know the story, but um, some very, very smart executives at HBO who predate me. I've uh, been there a long time, but not as long as they were. Uh, went to the very, very first uh, ABFF, which was in Acapulco. Okay. They saw it that year, and they said, this is something we have to be a part of. And so, starting that second year, which is why this is their 22nd, our 21st, right. we became the presenting sponsors of the festival. It matches perfectly to um, the goals and the aspirations of our brand, which is to make sure that we find the best storytellers in the business, regardless of where those folks come from, making sure that we have uh, diversity as our North Star, uh, making sure that we have diverse storytellers and diverse experiences, and I think that, that has worked well as a formula for HBO, and uh, you see that reflected in our programming, you see it reflected in the people who bring their stories to HBO, right. the people who want their stories on HBO, right. uh, and so it makes sense for us to be here. So, you talk about diversity, we've actually been on a, seen a lot of pa um, panels and different seminars about diversity and inclusion. Um, I mean, HBO has done a really, really good job at that, but how do you guys kind of plan to move forward with everything? We have so much of these um, contents and these stories being told. Would yeah, I think, we have to, I think we have to keep playing our game. I think we, we as, thank you for the compliment, but I think we've, we've always had this as part of our our brand's DNA is a part of our strategy. Um, as far back as I can remember, I'm old, so I remember HBO from a long time ago. But as far back as I can remember, there were stories on HBO that reflected the diverse experience, right? And, and celebrated the history of African American people and celebrated uh, you know, our leaders in, in ways. And so I, uh, I think we have to continue to do that. I think you're right, more people are doing it now, so there's more competition right, for those stories. Right. And so we just have to continue to make sure that we set the bar really, really high for ourselves. Uh, I like to think that in some small way, HBO is responsible for elevating our entire industry around diversity. It worked for us, and so people followed suit. Uh, and so now we all have to you know, keep looking for the very best that's out there. Awesome, and a lot of times, you know, we have uh, the conversation of black people or uh, people of color being in you know, front of the camera, but how important is it for them to be behind the camera? Hugely important. It's it's um, you know it's it's important because it's another one of those um, parts of of an industry right. that you you go to and you go. How is it that there are more women here? How is it that there are more people of color here? Right. So now that you know we've kind of as a as a society started to pay a lot more attention to those things, right. um, I think it it will be very good for people who are entering the business now. It'll bode well for people who who come after. Um, they will have opportunities that the generation before didn't have as it should be. Um, and, you know, again, the proof is, is in the pudding, as they say. Right. It's like we have, you know, if you walk on the set of, of our shows and you see diversity behind the camera, then you know that they mean business, right? right? And so we, we like to, you know, we, we like to, to talk the talk, but also walk the walk. Awesome. So we are at day three. So much has been going on. Yeah. What oh, is your like memorable? Like, was it a screening that you've seen or a oh, seminar you've been to? It's what so is busy. Like, it's so, it's, I, it's so much. <laughs> um, well, there is the Miami Sun that's hot. I will always remember. No, uh, uh, I mean, I'm going to be really selfish and promote my stuff because I think what we're doing here is really important. Um, you know, we we we've been doing this for a while, and I think it's important to remember this, right? Change doesn't happen over. I, yep. It's gradual. Right. Um, you got to stay at it. You have to be persistent and consistent. And so, our 21 year commitment to this festival demonstrates that. Um, you know, after you've put in the work, then you find the diamonds and the stars. Right. So, our short film competition, I think, is one of those things that everyone in the industry should be paying attention to. Not just because Ryan Coogler came through the short film competition, right. not just because people who were making in the industry also at some point came through that portal. Right. Um, those are all very good reasons, but if you saw our screening uh, last Thursday,
the five films that we showed could not have been more diverse. So there's the diversity that exists within the diversity of our right. storytelling. Right. There isn't one black experience. There, it's as, as numerous as fingerprints and snowflakes, right? Like we're all different. And so what I loved about, about the program that we put on, on, on Thursday night was that um, all of those films couldn't have been made into a feature. All of them, I think, would have been box office hits. And they showed very different aspects of the black experience. Awesome. Well, you guys here, Mr. Dennis Williams right here. Make sure you guys are always tuned in to HBO. Eric Thomas, we're out. Thank you.